Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I'm showing you guys my skincare routine. The one that I do in the morning as well as the one that I do in the evening. So I'm starting off with my Fenty Skin Cleanser. I like to lather it up in my hands first and then wash my face with the foam. And as you can see, I'm really getting in there, focusing a lot on the areas where I break out the most. Um, and I make sure to wash my face for about one minute before rinsing it off. I really love this Fenty Skin Cleanser because it's super gentle and moisturizing, but it really does get all the makeup, all the dirt off. It really cleans my skin and my pores. You can even remove your makeup with this cleanser, but I like to double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. But you will see that in the second part of this video when I do my nighttime routine. So I just got out of the shower. I washed my face with the Fenty Skin Cleanser. I've been using this cleanser for almost two years now and I love it. It's so gentle, but it really gets all the makeup off and literally my face just feels so clean after using it. I like to apply products to quite damp skin, so I usually apply my skincare stuff straight after I've washed my face. But now, because I washed my face in the shower and I had to get changed and stuff, my face is feeling a little bit dry. So I'm just going to re-wet my skin and then be right back. First thing I apply after washing my face is the CoSRX Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. That is a long name. I love this stuff. As you can see, this is finished almost. I've got a few more pumps left in it. But I have already stocked up, so I have a spare one already. So I just, I usually do two full pumps. This is what it looks like. And it's very like, as you can see, like sticky maybe. And I just apply that to my skin and bring it down to my neck as well. So I like to let my serum sit, so I try to take like one minute in between each step just to kind of let it dry down and sink into my skin. Um, but this Snail Mucin Essence is really good, it really hydrates your skin. It helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. That's what it says on the packaging and I feel like it does exactly that. It literally brings the moisture right back into your skin after washing your face and that's why I love this so so much. I feel like the Fenty Skin Cleanser in combination with this works really well as well because even though the Fenty Cleanser is quite gentle, it is actually really gentle. It's one of the most gentle cleansers I use. Sometimes your skin is just a little bit drier. It also has to do a lot with hormones and the temperature of the water that you use. I like to use hot water on my body, whether I'm showering, washing my face, washing my hair. I just hate cold water. so. I need lots of moisture in my products. Also, FYI, I'm showing you guys my basic skincare routine now. So this is like the foundation of my skincare. And then I will also show you guys some of the products that I use throughout the week, like maybe once a week or twice a week. So this product and routine that I'm showing you is literally something I do every single day. So now that the snail essence has settled into my skin, I'm going to use a serum. You will notice quite some Asian or Korean skincare in this video. I have been obsessed with Korean skincare and it's really helped my skin to look like this. The fact that my skin looks like this, straight out of the shower, I've cleansed it and I've only applied the Snail Muse in Essence, that's insane. Look at the glow it leaves. I could, I could leave the house like this. Anyways, serums. After Essence, I put serums on. These serums are from Beauty of Joseon. I love this brand, especially their serums. Um, this is the Glow Serum with Propolis and Niacinamide. And this is the Glow Deep Serum with Rice and Alpha Arbutin. So this helps with like dark spots, hyperpigmentation, um, like color coloration. Discoloration, is that the word? Like dark spots basically on your face. This really helps with that. The Glow Serum with Niacinamide, that really helps with texture on your skin. So I really like using these both. I don't use them both at the same time. I usually do one in the morning and one in the evening. Or like I'll use one this day and one the other day. So I kind of just switch it up. So right now I'm going to use the Glow Serum with Niacinamide. By the way, the reason why I have the packaging is because I just stocked up on a new one. Um, I usually buy my skincare, my Korean skincare, off a website called Stalvana because that's where I find it the cheapest. But one big downside of it is that it literally takes like two weeks to come, sometimes even three weeks. And I am really bad at kind of figuring out when my skincare is going to finish. 
So I ended up ordering this off Amazon, which to be fair, it's not that much of a price difference. I think it was like two pounds more expensive, but at least it came the next day. <laughs> so anyways, I am going to apply the glow serum. I just kind of eyeball it. A little goes a long way with this serum though, I do have to say. This is the consistency. I used to use a lot of the ordinary serums and I wasn't a huge fan of the consistency and the texture of those serums because they're very watery. So I don't know, I just I just didn't like the texture of it. With these, they're a lot more a little bit thicker maybe. And I feel like it helps it spread on the skin easier than using like a very watery per, um serum. I keep my skincare routine quite simple. So the steps that I follow is cleanser, essence, serum, moisturizer, and SPF. So I think those are five steps. So the next step is moisturizer. I use the CoSRX Snail Mucin Moisturizer. It's from the same collection as the Snail Mucin Essence. Also, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but guys, please bear with me. Um, again, it's like that very, it's that sticky kind of texture. Also, my friends say that I apply my skincare really aggressively, but guys, I promise you I'm not. I'm just really massaging it into my skin, but I don't hurt myself. Look at the glow, you guys. This is unreal. My skin has never looked this good, honestly. I have a few little breakouts, but honestly, I thank God. If this is the skin that I have to live with for the rest of my life, I will thank God because I used to have really, really, really bad skin, really bad acne, especially on my forehead. The one thing I love about this cream is that it's very, very moisturizing, but it's not greasy at all. And I have combination skin. I have a very oily T-zone, but my cheeks, especially around my jawline, get really dry. The creams that are made for dry skin, I feel like they're too greasy for my skin. So that's why I love this Snell Mucin Cream, because it's the perfect balance between moisturizing but not too greasy. And as you can see, it leaves this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous glow. And it doesn't feel oily at all, doesn't make my skin oily. I even apply Waleda Skin Food on top of this. Okay, this looks really ghetto right now. I had to cut off the top to get the last bits out of it because I didn't have time to go to the store. But this is the moisturizer that I apply on top of this if I want like a bit more moisture or a bit more of an intense moisturizer so i usually use this in the evenings before i go to bed so i can wake up with like really soft and moisturized skin this is the skin food light by waleda they have a normal skin food cream as well but i use the light version if you have really really dry skin though i reckon you could use the original version anyways after using the snail mucin i apply sunscreen this is the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. It's rice and probiotics and it's SPF 50. I love this sunscreen. It's literally so good. It leaves no white cast at all. This is what it looks like. I love this sunscreen because it literally feels like I'm applying a moisturizer. It is not greasy at all, which the Bondi sense sunscreen even though I love it it leaves my skin so so greasy you could literally fry an egg on my forehead so I literally stopped using that and I use this one now and I love it it works so good for my skin um, as you can see guys this glow I love it I'm literally obsessed it doesn't leave any white cast also can I just say sometimes I see girls trying out sunscreens on TikTok or whatever and they literally just apply it and they're like, oh my god, it leaves a white cast. And I'm just like, you do have to massage it into the skin like you would with any other moisturizer. And sometimes you even need to give it a little more time to really sink into the skin. And then you will see that there's actually no white cast. I finish off with some Laneige Lip Sleep Mask to moisturize and hydrate the lips. And this is literally it for my daytime skincare. I might show you guys my nighttime skincare routine as well and how I take off my makeup because I am wearing makeup today, so if I don't get home too late, I will film that for you guys as well. But this is literally how I would go about my day. Super glowy skin, really hydrated. All these products really, really help with texture and with hyperpigmentation, and also repairing the skin barrier, especially the Snail Mucin Essence, the Snail Mucin Cream, 
and the Waleda Skin Food. I feel like those three products really help restore the skin barrier. I used to have quite some acne on my forehead and I tried everything. I tried so many like acne products, the GP prescribed me products as well and all of them were just so so harsh that it was just making it worse. So one day I decided to switch it up completely and I focused on restoring my skin barrier. I focused on hydrating and moisturizing my skin instead. I stopped everything and just used I think three products all from the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line. So I used the cleanser, the moisturizer and the SPF and my skin completely transformed and it really really showed that sometimes we're so focused on like fighting fighting the acne with using all these harsh products and chemical exfoliants and stuff but sometimes you need to take a step back and really focus on healing your skin and now I'm more focused on getting rid of the dark spots the hyperpigmentation the scarring especially on my forehead you might not be able to see it really well right now because of the lighting but um, I do have some scarring on my forehead especially um, and that's really what I'm focused on the most. So I'm so glad that I don't have to deal with acne anymore. I do still have breakouts, don't get me wrong, especially around my period. But I feel like most of my breakouts are caused by my hormones or the, thing that I, the things that I eat. Personally, I'm okay with lactose, but I know that people can have a skin reaction to that as well. Nuts, chocolate, there's so many things that you can have an allergic reaction to or not even an allergic reaction, but just a trigger to your breakouts. So I would really advise you to kind of pay attention to what you eat. Not to restrict yourself, but just try to kind of remember if you had chocolate today, for example, and you break out tomorrow, that might be the cause of it. Anyways, I am kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna go get ready, do my makeup and my hair, and then I will be back with you guys when I do my nighttime skincare routine. One last thing before I go, because I mentioned makeup. This skincare is what I do before I do makeup and skincare is really the first step to make your makeup look so flawless. So make sure you really hydrate and moisturize your skin. But my cat just completely dropped my ring light. Anyways, I was trying to say make sure you use skincare products that work with your makeup products as well. Anyways, now it's time to get ready. I will catch you guys when I do my nighttime routine. Hey guys, so I've had this makeup on for a few hours. Not too long but I'm gonna remove it anyways. Um, I usually double cleanse when I do my skincare, especially when I'm wearing makeup. So first things first, I take off my lashes. This is the best feeling ever. I usually just pull them off, but if you use like really hard lash glue, you might wanna use some makeup remover or miss low water. To remove my makeup, I like to use this Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. This is like a really good dupe for the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I've also recently got the Espa Cleansing Butter, but I've not tried that yet. I have tried this one from Inky List. I don't really like this one personally. I don't like the consistency. It makes my eyes super blurry and I feel like it has some kind of grain to it. I don't know if it's just mine that's not really good, but this one, this never disappoints me. If I don't have this on hand or if I don't like want to get messy because it does get quite messy, I just use a cotton pad and micellar water and then I still cleanse it with my face wash. But for now, I'm going to use this cleansing butter. I use about this much. I am quite generous with it to be fair. And it just breaks down the makeup so easily. As you can see, it's literally melted off the eye makeup. And I'm wearing the Fenty Lip Stunner Paint, which is like really hard to get off. But you'll see, oh my god, I got it in my eye. But if you look at this, literally gone. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wash it off right now. Now that I've rinsed off the cleansing butter, as you can see, it literally takes off all my makeup. And I'm going to use the Fenty Skin Cleanser to just double cleanse and make sure everything is gone. So I use about this much. You don't really need a lot with the Fenty Cleanser. And you just lather it up in your hands like that. Oh 
Make sure to cut your neck as well. Especially if you apply makeup there. Now that my face is clean, I'm going to use this AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner from a brand called Soul Me By Me. It's a Korean skincare brand as well. I actually just found this while scrolling on Selvana shopping for my other skincare, but I just put some on my palm and kind of dab it into the skin. I really like this toner. I used to use the um, AHA BHA exfoliant from Paula's Choice, but I found that that one is a bit harsh for every day, so I use this one, but even this one I don't really use it every day. I probably use it like twice a week now because I also recently started incorporating this into my skincare routine, which is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid um, Toner. And this one is very harsh to be fair, it's a very strong one. I wouldn't recommend using this every day. I've only been using it once a week for the past few weeks. Um, I have used this in the past when I had really bad acne and it was just way too harsh which is why I stopped using it. So now that I'm slowly using it again, I've made sure to be very very careful with how often I'm using it. So I use this one about once a week and this one about 2-3 times a week. But either way, you want to make sure that toner is the first step that you do after cleansing. And I don't apply toner every time I do my skincare. So I apply it in the evening and I only use a toner like maybe three times a week max. So I'll use the glycolic acid one from The Ordinary and then the other times I use the Soul By Me. Soul By? Soul Me By Me <laughs> Miracle Toner. Um, anyways, next step is we're going back in with the Snail Mucin Essence. I get two pumps of those. And apply that all over the face. Like I said, I'm showing you guys my basic routine, but here are a few other serums that I like. This one is from Lancome, their Louvre collection. Um, it's Advanced Chinifique. It's like a youth activating serum. I really like this one, surprisingly, because I'm not really into like the aging or anti-aging skincare, but this serum really like it just makes my feel my skin feel so soft and plump and like hydrated um so yeah i really really like this one just to give your skin kind of like a wake up almost it doesn't do a lot but it does just that thing i don't know how to explain it this is another serum that i use from kiehl's it is their retinol skin renewing daily microdose serum i got this in pr i got this gifted um, but I've really been liking it, to be fair. Um, I kind of use it, I don't use it regularly. I use it probably like once a week um, in combination with the Super Multi Corrective Soft Cream, also by Kiehl's. So I use these two in combination and yeah, it works really good. I really like this cream actually. It's super, super moisturizing, but it has kind of like that gel-like texture. So it doesn't make my skin greasy at all, but it does leave it very, very hydrated. Anyways, tonight I'm gonna use my Beauty of Joseon Glow Deep Serum, the one with Alpha Arbutin, because I used the Glow Serum with Niacinamide earlier today. So I wanna use the Alpha Arbutin one now. That much. After my serum, I'm going to go in with my Snail Mucin Cream Moisturizer. I love this. After I wear makeup, I really focus on like hydrating and moisturizing the skin back again because I feel like sometimes like wearing all those layers of makeup, it can, I don't know, I feel like it kind of affects my skin a little bit. So I just like to give my skin some extra love after I wear makeup. And then, last but not least, I'm going to go over it again with Waleda Skin Food Light, which is like a thicker, more richer moisturizer. This is what it looks like. It's very rich. But I love that because if you apply this before going to bed, it will leave your skin so soft and so hydrated and moisturized in the morning. Last but not least, lip sleeping mask. You can't have your skin looking glowy and your lips looking ashy. And there we have it, my nighttime skincare routine. 
leaves me with this super glowy soft skin and I just love it it's so hydrated so moisturized just feel ready to go to bed and if you do this routine I promise you you'll wake up in the morning with like a super soft and like plump face anyway so that is kind of like my base routine like I said I use a toner a few times a week like no more than three times a week I'll use like a chemical exfoliant toner so either the glycolic acid from the ordinary or I keep forgetting what it's called or the AHA BHA PHA 30 days miracle toner by so me by me it's a Korean skincare brand another thing I wanted to show you guys is if I have a breakout or if I have like a really painful spot or something like that or I just want to get rid of a pimple quick after I wash my face I will apply a pimple patch I use the Coes RX pimple patches and I just apply them to clean dry skin and then I apply my skincare over it some people even put their makeup on top of it because it's very much like skin like it's almost like those little blister plasters so you really don't even notice it on the skin but these really work well for me I do have to keep them on for a long time so you want to wear these either overnight or like minimum six hours for them to work on your spots another thing I really really like to use is this ordinary salicylic acid mask I use this like maybe once a month to be fair I only really use this if I feel like my skin needs it if I feel like I'm breaking out or my skin is just very textured I'll use this and I'll almost instantly see a result. That's how good this mask is. Literally, this is my favorite face mask to use to kind of deal with breakouts. A little goes a long way with this as well. I've had this one for a while now. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. If you want to get rid of texture, if you feel like, for example, you've got a lot of pores on your nose and, and you're going to wear makeup tonight, you can apply this mask before you apply your makeup. Let the mask sit for 10 minutes wash it off and you'll literally feel how smooth the skin on your nose is one last thing I wanted to show you guys are these glow up pads by sugar baby it's a brand called sugar baby they sent me this in PR I don't even know about this brand but these glow up pads are so good I don't use them that often I use them maybe like once a week I use them in a the shower because it's quite messy but they're like these yellow cotton pads soaked in I don't know what it's soaked in but it makes my skin feel so good so smooth and so clean it's got turmeric it's got kojic acid and lemon peel extract and this works so good and I feel like it really helps with kind of smoothing out my skin te texture and also the turmeric and the kojic acid is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation so I've really really been liking these they are a bit messy to use so I use them in the shower I use my Fenty Skin Cleanser first and then I use these on top um, but yeah would definitely definitely recommend these and when I get through this I will definitely buy a new pack this is not even a promo they literally just sent this to me and I just tried it out and I really really like it um, so yeah I think those are all my favorite skincare products again this is really just my preference and my skincare routine that works for me I wanted to share it because a lot of you guys ask and I feel like the journey that I've been through with my skin it might be helpful to some of you um, especially like the perspective of focusing on like all these acne products if you try to focus more on like hydrating your skin and repairing your skin barrier that might do really well for you and at least that's what worked for me so I can only share with you guys what works for me if you try out these products let me know let me know what you think I try to go into as much detail as possible with the skincare routine but if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any other videos let me know in the comments down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get updated when i upload last but not least follow on instagram tiktok all the social media platforms at lillian tech guy thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and see you in the next video bye